there is a great momentum going on uh, on the hydrogen space on Oman and globally. Uh, we foresee that clean hydrogen, be blue or green, will be an established vector uh, in the energy portfolio in Oman by 2040. And it will impact the GDP growth, the diversification of the uh, energy landscape, and of course the economic uh, structure. The, the number of projects that we've seen so far in the last two years, they're really sizable, diverse, material, and have a spectrum of applications, be it in-house, in Oman, or for export, uh, be it for the production of chemicals, um, blending into the gas networks, the production of uh, ammonia, methanol, synthetic fuels, uh, but also as a big enabler into the ecosystem of taking the produced water from the oil and gas operations and making it available for the green hydrogen. This will not only stimulate the economics of the green hydrogen project, but also enable Oman to produce hydrogen inland, so far away from the shoreline, uh, where we have the strategic uh, land, uh, land space. So it's very much in line with the Vision 2040, and I think it's, it's a very strong lever to Oman Vision 2040. Um, from many standpoints, but for one is uh, creating a new economic engine for Oman, two is a very strong lever to decarbonize the energy sector in Oman, and three, of course, stimulating that supply chains and associated services and manufacturing. And this fits very well with Oman Manufacturing Strategy 2040, where the renewables and the production of associated hydrogen products are featuring at the core of that strategy. So I'm all in it, and I, and I see strong leadership support, strong leadership involvement uh, in this space, and I have no doubts this will pick up uh, and I will see it over the next few years. The regulators are very supportive, and that's um, that's you know that's very much evident from the involvement of the regulators and the policy makers of the country, uh, be it the Ministry of Energy and Minerals, the Environmental Authority, uh, ABSAR, or any other you know uh, government entity in Oman. So they're so much involved, they're so much keen to develop this, and that's been reflected in many global indices, but one is the Hydrogen Investability Index, where it shows that the regulatory driver you know, is leading, at least across the region. So there's a strong push, and I think the next opportunity for Oman is to focus on realizing the identified pilots and opportunities. I think it will be impacted big time, uh, and it will be a great corridor for the FDIs because uh, let's not forget that the whole world is looking at the green fuels and the low carbon fuels. Uh, so the whole world is looking for places to put their money in. Uh, and there is no competitive and better place at least, uh, in the region uh, better than Oman. Well, very well placed, very good potential for renewables. Not only renewables as silos, talking about the wind and solar, but also the integration of them. It's very unique in Oman, whereby we can have that um, fixed load and sustainable load of energy production for the production of energy. So I think it's it's um, uh, it's, it's it's a strong corridor. It's a strong um, catalyst for the FDIs looking also and capitalizing on the decades of track record on the oil and gas, on the LNG, on the ports. So I think it's the opportunity is just massive.